My sister recently told me that she read somewhere that all of us have probably about a thousand dollars just lying around that we could make if we wanted to. And I actually recently found that to be true as I've made well over a thousand dollars on Poshmark. I'm definitely still an amateur posher. I don't make a living on it, but I do have a number of tips and tricks I'd be happy to share with beginners to Poshmark, especially if you're somebody like I was who maybe has been thinking about selling things but put it off for a long time and just you haven't gotten around to it. Maybe this is your chance to grow these items up online and sell them and make some real cash for them. So hi, I'm Aylin, and this is my channel, Slice of Light, where I talk about simple living, building an empowering mindset, and a little bit about photography and videography. If any of those topics interest you, please hit the subscribe button below. And if you end up liking this video, hit the thumbs up button. And you can also hit the bell alert button if you want to be notified when new videos come up. I honestly think that selling things is probably one of the most sustainable ways of getting things out of your home. Because psychologically, people value things more if they've paid good money for them them. And so it's just more likely that that item is going to get a full second life if you actually sell it. And of course, on top of that, you're making a little bit of money. Poshmark is a very approachable, easy to use platform to make that happen. At least I found that to be the case. Really quickly, just to describe how it works, you basically post your item online, a number of pictures, a title, its size, maybe the brand, the price that you're selling it for, the original price of the item and you basically just post it and eventually someone might make an offer or just pay the amount that you asked for. Then if you accept the offer or if they pay full price, you have sold the item and you have five days to ship the item with a prepaid shipping label through USPS. I do think they recommend if you can to do it within two days, but you do have five days to send it. I think one of the biggest things to keep in mind when you're trying to sell on Poshmark is what you are selling because every item does take effort to post. Like it's far less effort than you think, but at the end of the day, you don't wanna be posting a bunch of items that just will never get sold. And so I highly recommend really figuring out what are items that will actually make a decent amount of money, maybe $50 or more. That's kind of a cutoff for me or sometimes $30 or more so that it's actually worth my time and effort that I put into posting it and then eventually selling it. I think something that makes it far more likely to sell is the brand and the quality of the item. And often a good indicator of how much it's worth is the original value or price of the item. But then you also need to take into account the condition. One thing that will make an item I think way more likely to sell is brand recognition. So making sure that you put the brand name in the title of the item. Sometimes people will search specific brands on Poshmark and so that's how they will find your item in the first place. One important thing I'd recommend is to make sure that you do everything you can to make the item in its best condition. So maybe it means taking it to the dry cleaners or washing it. Maybe it means, you know, washing off the sole of a shoe or conditioning leather items like purses or boots. I think just making sure that it's at its best possible condition, given kind of the state that it's in, is always going to be a benefit to you. And that way it'll look better in photos and just be more likely to sell. And you'll probably have happier customers as well. That being said, I think you should be really honest about imperfections on the item and even take up close pictures of any imperfections. That way you're likely to gain more credibility on Poshmark and in the long run are more likely to sell more items. Plus, I just think that's the honest thing to do. One of the biggest things you do have control over when selling on Poshmark as well are the photos and the description. So make sure that the photos are appealing, crisp, and clear. I often will use a really simple blank background. I think that's your safest bet. Often I'll use my white linen duvet cover or a sheet to just have a white blank background. I also will make sure I have good light. If you don't have equipment, that's okay. Just take a photo close to a window and make sure that you're editing it so that there's good contrast so the item looks the best it can be without totally altering it or making it look not like what it is. Make sure you also pick a really good first photo as again, you know, that's your item's first impression to the customer. Also, as far as your description goes, just make sure that you're putting any keywords that you think people might be searching because that's where people are gonna find your item. Then of course, a big question you might have when selling an item on Poshmark is how do I price this item? And I think it's always a really big question, but what I'd recommend is always checking out the original value of the item 
you'll be able to share that original value on Poshmark and then just take it down a bit in price depending on the condition of the item. You can also indicate on Poshmark if it's an item that's new with tags and so that will probably help you enhance the price of the item. Also, in case you didn't know, because I didn't know this for a while, people can actually make offers on Poshmark that are less than your asking price. And I've read in a number of places, just accept offers unless they're totally ridiculous. But I've actually found that in practice, if I just ask for a bit more and I counter offer any offer that's given to me, I actually will make a little bit more money. So, you know, don't be afraid to counter offer if the original offer is ridiculously low. One trick I'd really recommend is keeping a box or two around at all times, just to make it easier on yourself so that when you do sell the item, you have the packaging all ready. Then all you have to do is throw the item in the box, print out the package label and bring it to USPS. It's quite easy. One other thing I didn't realize when I first started at Poshmark is that when you sell things, the money goes into a balance under your account information, not just directly to your bank account. Now, of course, you can choose to move that money into your bank account, but just be aware that that's where it automatically goes, which is kind of nice because then either A, you can use that money directly on Poshmark quite easily, or B, you can let it rack up a little bit and then you can send it over to your main bank account and have it be more of a lump sum that's helpful for you to actually buy something important in your life. I also want to add that the first time I sold something, it took a long time. Like it did actually probably take a few months before I sold it. And I think that there is something to be said for people wanting to buy from people who have sold things before. So if it takes a little bit of time to get going, don't worry about it. I would just say wait it out. If you're putting the right items on Poshmark and using the right photos, eventually you will sell some items and then the sales will be much more rapid. Like just last week, I posted something and that very day it sold. So keep the faith if you're having a little bit of trouble at first. So hopefully some of these tips were helpful. I know this was a pretty quick video, but maybe it just made you a little bit more comfortable to start sifting through your belongings and selling things that you don't really want or need anymore. If you ended up liking this video, again, hit the thumbs up button, subscribe below. I'd really appreciate it. And thanks so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day.